Hello friends, Kisan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the Spring Transaction Management. Uh, when we talk about the Spring Transaction Management, then first word, first word comes in mind that is called Transaction Strategies. Transaction Strategies define how you want to implement transaction in your application. There are mainly two ways to implement transaction in Spring Framework. First, you have a programmatic transaction management and second, declarative transaction management. So in this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about the programmatic transaction management. Programmatic, pro, programmatic transaction man, management give a co greater control to the user in setting up the transaction boundaries. It is possible to set up transaction boundaries to a part of your code. However, the transaction management code needs to be inserted into a program logic and hence is very intrusive. A Spring provides a template class for programmatic transaction management. The template class is called transaction template. If you press Ctrl Shift and search for the transaction template, right? So this is the transaction template class which usually we make use uh, for programmatic transaction management in Spring Framework. So let's go ahead and implement transaction management programmatically. So if you followed my earlier video tutorial then you would have been aware about this my code. So this code I had written in my previous video tutorial from scratch. If you did not watch my previous tutorial then I recommend you to go and watch this video tutorial so that you will come to know how I have coded uh, uh, every piece of code in this project. So let me make a, another copy of this project in the same workspace. So let's paste it over here and give the project name as a Spring JDBC. Spring JDBC transaction transaction management. Management Spring JDBC. Programmatic Transaction Management Programmatic Transaction Click on the OK uh, Now I have made another copy of this project Let me for newcomer Let's let me explain this project So here I have a client program From client program I am getting my service object Which I have configured as a uh, a spring bin managed object in my configuration file, a spring configuration file. And once I get the my service class object, then I'm making call to the service class method is called transfer form, which takes from account to account and how much money I want to transfer. So call will go to the my service layer and from service layer, service layer layer has dependency on DAW. So this service layer while configuring this service class in my configuration file as a spring bin, uh, I have provided the dependency for DAW layer also. So uh, we, uh, we have used setter based dependency injection to resolve these things. Now from transfer fund, I am making call to the DAW layer methods. First method we have a window and second is deposit. And in DAW layer, I have written the database related code. Right? So it's very simple code. Uh, and all bins I have defined over here, my custom bins. And some of the bins which are belongs to the Spring uh, the jars itself, like uh, JDBC template and uh, JDBC template data source and property, place, uh, play, property placeholder configurer. So these bins I have also configured. Now here, uh, 
uh, while calling client program if let's uh, uh, let's uh, i want to sh show you why transaction management is required over here when you call uh, font transfer method of service layer method and from service we delegate the call to the uh, DAW layer right and here first we call that with DAW method suppose this method executes successfully but while executing the deposit method if some exception arises let's simulate some exception like throw new and runtime exception in real scenario you can have a SQL exception or some kind of network failure right intentionally I'm just I'm throwing some exception and I want to simulate uh, where, where my uh, project is able to manage the transaction or not and if I run this application and let me check out the current balance of these two accounts so we have a source account which is Kishan's account and destination account is the Raj, uh, Raj account so current balance is showing 80,000 and 29,000 if I run this application then saying that 1000 rupees is transfer, transferred from Kishan's account to Raj account source to destination account and saying that same is deposit, deposited in the destination account but uh, while depositing the money just intentionally I have thrown some exception and if I go to the database then money is directed in source account from source account and deposited in the destination account so basically my code is not handling the transactions so here we want to place the transaction handling code so in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to manage transaction programmatically so to manage uh, programmatic transaction management we need to make use of the transaction template class and this template class we have to uh, use in our service layer so let's declare private transaction template this is your transaction template class and declare as instance variable of value and declare setters and getters for this transaction template and as we have introduced new new instance variable in our service layer so service layer will have to go and uh, here we have defined service layer class as a, a spring managed view so here we'll have to define property name equal to transaction template and the ref equal to transaction template again ref is your another bin right so that should be configured here so let's configure another spring bin an ID would, you will have to give transaction template and class in UT specified qualified name of this bean. So let me find qualified name of this bean class. Click on this arrow button, arrow and expand this guy. Now we can copy, copy qualified and go to your XML file and specify your template class right if you go to the transaction template then transaction template has a constructor which demands you to supply something is called platform transaction manager so platform transaction manager is an interface which is going to implement by the different transaction manager concrete implementation of transaction manager and in this model we are using a spring with jdbc to so to manage transaction in spring with jdbc we have a transaction template class which implements this platform transaction manager and that class is called data source transaction manager so search for the data source data source transaction manager so here is this class so we need to configure this concrete implementation of platform transaction manager and go to here and configure one class so this is another bin and id you need to specify some id and class qualified name of this class and this class 
has a constructor which demands you to supply a data source right so here you can use constructor based di right so constructor based di constructor of name equal to data source and ref equal to data source and data source already i have been configuring previous tutorial right here is the data source now transaction template here transaction template ask you to supply transaction manager uh, and we can inject this by using constructor based di right so here again you will have a constructor name equal to transaction manager and ref equal to transaction manager now look at the configuration file i had started from transaction template right transaction template i have declared in service layer now transaction template demands you to supply the transaction manager again i have configured transaction manager so here I, you need to specify id as well so all i have is completed now safely i can use transaction template in my code now why this guy is throwing some exception what wrong happened get transaction template okay now we can use transaction template in our uh, source code so what i will do i will make another copy of this project the, sorry not project this method and here we are planning to handle the transaction right so to manage transaction programmatically we have to make use of this transaction template so transaction template has a execute method so that i am going to use here this execute method takes transaction callback as an, an argument so i would say inside the execute new transaction callback and we can create an anonymous class i am what is my expectation from you guys you guys know about the anonymous class so just i have created anonymous class then you need to override methods which is available in this transaction callback so that method is nothing but the do in transaction and this method is basically responsible to handle the transaction and this method takes transaction is status as a argument so these two method which you want which you want to make as a logical unit logical unit you need to keep in this method so here you need to make this variable as final final and amount also you need to make final so that's all as my doll layer throwing some exceptions so you need to handle this exception with the try catch or you can put this statement here now almost code is coding part is done now if i have kept this line as it is and now if i run the application again from the client program before that let's check the current balance of source and destination account so if i refresh it this so source account is showing 79000 and destination is 30000 now if i run this application so withdraw is happened successfully while depositing message is even though coming but intentionally i have thrown some exceptions so with uh, depositing is getting failed right due to some exception then if i go to here and i try to refresh then look at here so my code is managing transaction that's why uh, previously amount was rejected from source account but while depositing there is some exception so amount uh, amount is uh, again uh, uh, got deposited in the destination uh, source account itself so my code is handling transaction now so this way you can manage transaction uh, programmatically so so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial guys so there are some api related things are pending so i'll i'll i'll, I'll 
elaborate some more things in the next video tutorial there I'll, I can show you I mean 